Here's a little history lesson for you. Night caps are sipping caps for worn while sleeping to keep the hair tangle free and especially silk night caps to make the hair glossy. Night caps have a long history and to, even today, silk caps are recommended for long or curly hair. So let's go. The night cap of 50 or 60 years ago were frankly ugly, usually made of some coarse and heavy material which covered the head completely extended over the ears and under the chin. They were worn for warm, for there was no steam heat at that day and bedrooms were often chilly. So let's go. So in the late 1900s and early 1910s, women went back to wearing nightcaps to keep their curls from getting tangled during the night. History of the nightcap. In the Victorian era, nightcaps were worn by all women, young and old, usually made of kind of wood. They were not very people worn out of necessity because bedroom was usually chilly, as I said before. So let's keep going. From the Middle Ages to the 20th century, nightcaps were worn in the Northern Europe, such as the British Isles and Scandinavia, especially during the cold winters before central heating became available. Nightcaps cover the hair and have the added virtue of protecting it so that it neither snores nor tumbles during the process. This makes combing in the morning a simpler option and the hair is benefited by being protected from the air. So bottom line, bunnies have been worn since way back when um, for many different reasons. They help with frizziness, dryness, hair breaks, and tangling. They was used for so many different reasons. And today's time, we just call them sand bunnets. That's all. It's just a different name. It's 2023. We are not in the 1800s anymore. But anyway, y'all, it's Hair Care Not Race. Link is in the bio. Bye.